Hello everyone, welcome to AR Arena channel. Uh, today uh, we will go to make the full ceiling stud for the gypsum board. It's easy way to make it in the LOD 200, LOD 300 by one click and to get the data from the width and length for the room and what the height of the full ceiling that I will use. And then by one click in Dynamo, we can create the detail of the full ceiling stud. So let's go and start. We will take uh, an example of um, this villa. I have here this bedroom. As a detail, uh, I still don't have any finishing here, even of the ceiling. So if we click on this one to explain the room. Can a little bit lower the height. So I have here unfinished room. I will choose what the height that I need for my full ceiling to get the remaining height that I will use for my studs. So if I make a section in this area. And regarding to the height of the zoom, let's say I will go to make it as a full ceiling 3.2. So from the ceiling, on the same level, I will make a quick gypsum board ceiling by sketch. And the height it will be 3.2. Click OK. And on my section, now I have my full ceiling and the remaining area for the full ceiling stud. It will be 0.48. So this is my first input, it will be the height, and also I will get the dimension of my room. It will be 6 meter by 3.8. So now I get the information and I make my gypsum bolt ceiling that I want. Now let's start to make the full ceiling stud. First I will go open and make a new family. I can make it as a generic model. First point you need to make sure that you will work in meters because the script already implemented in the meter unit and then I will open Dynamo Player show first how we can work with this script and then we can open the Dynamo file to explain the script and explain how we make it so from this one I have here my full ceiling studs I open to put my input And then we have the length for 6 and width for 3.85 and the height it's 0.488 as I remember. I think yes. We can make sure again. For my 
6.4.88 correct and here 3.85 so that's right and by 6 then I'll back to my family even I can save and let's say this is my bedroom 2 or ceiling stats and then I can back again and run my script So after running my script, I can see now this is my output and it give me exact the dimension of the room that I need. If I make also, let's say, it's realistic and fine. Here I can see my first and second layer of the studs and exact the height for the ceiling with the 3D option. Very easy to back again to my first level and for components I can bring my stats and as a quick align. And also check for the height. So as I see here, he give me like exact dimensions of the room that I created. If I come back to my 3D. Start now creating in very quick and high way and it's very useful also in the showing of the detailing or in the 3D section or in the sections. And it's scanned by if I back again to my family. I can also Very easy to change and add the material that I want of this family. And now let's give a quick explanation of how we made this script by uh, Dynamo. Uh, first, I have my profile that I already will use it for my stats. Uh, it's approximately 2 cm by 5 cm as a standard sizes of the stats. And then if I back here to the Revit and let's open the Dynamo. First thing I made it here to make this profile so I create my coordinate point regarding to starting from zero. Let's say this is my first point, second, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This eight points I already make it and after this I connect it to make my lines. From the lines I already make it as a list and I make this flatten to make my poly curve and this poly curve it will be my profile. Also I get my coordinate origin point regarding to the middle point of the profile and it will be in this area to be my start point 
that I would use it in the coordinate system in the dynamo. Then here I put my input as a lens width and height, and I make the number of division by math around, so I double regarding to the any lens that I have. So I need to double the division. It will be like almost half meter between each stud. And then I start to create my script of the frame for the room. Where's the four line for the room? Where's the four main points? And then I start to create my four curves. From these four curves, to get my height, I start to put my roots. So they get the connections between all the divide lines that's already happened. So let's run and make more explanation on the 3D. So once I get my points regarding to the division of the four lines, so I have these points for each line. After that, I start to connect with the intersect between these points regarding to the lines that's already created between them. So he get for me all the midpoints that I needed. And from all these midpoints, I make my circle and I extrude it to give me all these words. So this is this first point. Second point here regarding to the coordination in x way and in y way. Once I make the connections, I start to put my profile in each coordinated area. So he start to create for all the areas of the point of division. And then I make it also in the X way, but the only thing that I already increased in this area that I make like a transport, so transport to move this profile in X way in the zero point and in the Y way to be more high than that one. So once I finish my course section in this way, I just close it and freeze it and make a translate to move it by the same height of my profile 2 cm, so it will be fixed on the highway. And then I collect all my extrude x-way and y-way to create my list and then to create my geometry and it's important to have like spring springs uh, script spring spring scripts can download it from the packages and it's give a quick export from any geometry that i already finished in the dynamo to back it directly to my revit as you see now as a free form and once it's finished you can see now how it's easy and not heavy file that it can work in a very quick way in any project as a LOD 200 and 300. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our page and follow our Instagram channel AR Arena Design and we will uh, revise this uh, script and finalize it and write to us to get your script. And thank you and see you in the next videos.